a bit windy today. I suppose it should be a good news for sailors, isn't it? But too much for me, to be honest. My hat keeps flying off. That's right, it's ruining his hair as well. He just did it this morning and everything. Just his luck. Yeah, we were actually talking ourselves up for a quiet little motor to the next island. This wasn't in the forecast at all. But this is what we got. And uh, it's quite nice, actually. The captain's pretty happy with it. At least we can sail. Probably a liter of diesel we're gonna use, maybe even half that. No need for winch. Think we'll take a reef this morning, maybe two. Well, this captain needs the winch handle. He knows when he's defeated. preparation here from the captain. Those bunch of bananas were getting bruised against the side of my head after we healed over to find a better home for them. We've got two guests arriving in two days time and yesterday the fresh fruit and veg boat arrived so I stocked up for the week but uh, in these conditions it's very difficult to store so uh, Today, the lounge is my uh, fruit storage area. Otherwise, everything is holding just fine. It's only a quick one today, only about seven miles to go. This one is bruised, we'll have to eat it. Funny, the fruits always seem to be getting bruised when it's feeling a bit peckish, isn't it? Convenient, if you ask me. And I moved on to the banana, set myself right next to the sauce. I can't help it, they are getting bruised. I just had to eat them. Great size as well. It's small, man. Eh? They call plantano basico, basic banana. And they are so, so sweet, you would not believe it. The ones you buy in store, you cannot compare that to this. This is so much sweeter. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Feel like I had bad cocktails prepared by him. Really wasn't expecting that today it's going to be blowing 21 knots. So two miles to go, nothing to ride home about, no fish, salt water is splashing all over the bow, can't wait to be there. Sailing is overrated, let me tell you that. I'm all about the anchoring and the lifestyle. The act, not so much. Just complaints, complaints, complaints over there, isn't it? I've been wanting to do this all day. 
<laughs> oh, push, push have a banana, well, trust me, this is very familiar. <laughs> Finally, we had a bigger one to stick in there, shut him up for a bit. You need to buy those. <laughs> those ones we ever know. The big ones we need to pay for. Is this Kabbalah bracelet? Our friend Kuba gave it to us and it's supposed to stop the negative energy. But for now, I think I'm just dishing it out at him. Makes me feel happy though, you know. <laughs> Hello again. There we go, a moment's peace and quiet. Yeah, Kuba, this Kabbalah bracelet is faulty. I think we need a refund. It's just sending it all out in one direction. And my one's not blocking it enough. <laughs> oh, it's exhausting today. Shouldn't have paddle boarded so hard this morning. Wasn't expecting a difficult sail. Five mile sail and it's very difficult. We are ruined for life, literally. When we were sailing in San Francisco Bay, we were rocking it 15, 16 miles almost every weekend in 25, not a wind, and we didn't think twice about it. Now, five years in, cruising in tropical paradise the wind is over 15 knots we are like no we're not going out in that <laughs> let's have another margarita eh? exactly all that healing the cocktails just jump right out of the glass don't they it's no good and nobody wants that certainly not me if you enjoyed this episode you can now buy the crew a drink directly just look for the thanks button below the video. We picked up our awesome guests, Jeff and Emmanuel from Vancouver, and embarked on a whirlwind tour of our favorite spots. This week we took a filming break, but not before checking out a beautiful sandbar next to the anchorage. And here we go. We are leaving San Blas for Colombia. The wind is howling, the sea is raging, and we are going 35 miles east towards Colombian border just to place ourselves in better position when the weather window comes, hopefully next week. Uh, feeling a bit emotional, leaving San Blas, maybe forever. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a sad day sad day slash exciting day for the new adventures but San Blas has been absolutely amazing to us and hopefully we've been amazing to San Blas as well um, and we've had so much fun it definitely is in the top charts for our cruising grounds to date so uh, it's gonna be very difficult to find another area in the Caribbean which is gonna take the top spot but you never know Capital is all ready for the new adventure. He's ready to take the 35 hour shift to get us to Colombia because I am tired. You know, all these guests and all the cooking. I need my rest, don't I? <laughs> he certainly does. The feet are already on the teak as he said that. 
he's going to settle in with his dog bed and just make himself comfortable for the passage. So last of you see of the first mate in this episode. Yeah, I'm feeling emotional too. He's not the only one with feelings, you know. It's been two years since we uh, crossed the Panama Canal and rocked up in this amazing cruising ground. Highly recommend it um, if you ever feel like coming to this part of the world. It's amazing. It's a little bit strange. We crossed the canal and entered the Caribbean um, and discovered for us what is probably the most perfect cruising area. So that's why we changed our mind last season and just came right back again. And uh, never say never, it may happen still. But it's time to take this show on the road for now. We've got some serious miles to cover for the next part of this season. And uh, we're pushing out east to explore what the Caribbean has to offer. It's very exciting, but also at the same time, uh, quite emotional to be saying goodbye to Panama and uh, our home of the last two years. But Colombia and Curaçao, here we go. There you go, you've heard it. That's the plan. We hope to make it all the way to Curaçao. He wanted to go all the way to Grenada, but I think it's a bit too much, so... Uh, he still does. No, we're not going to... Go. Tell him. We are not going to Grenada this year, you know. Enough is enough, and I say enough. <laughs> Columbia, here we come! Via a little overnight stop. We are leaving the protection of the San Blas reefs and we're going to be on the ocean now. So we haven't done really any ocean sailing for last four months, pretty much early December. So uh, I haven't eaten that much. I only had a little tiny coffee this morning. So hopefully it will be fine. We need to find our sea legs. The passage to Cartagena when we set off will be around 30 hours, maybe even 35. So uh, I really, really hope for favorable winds and calm sea. You know me, I don't like these long packages. The swell is definitely building. How's it going, Captain? 21 miles to go. We'll be there in no time. This is just a warm-up passage. Test the first mate's sea legs and see how the galley service fares out at sea again. It's been a while. We have um, about 18 to 20 knots of wind and we're close hauled right now. We're just rounding the last of the protective reefs before we get onto the open ocean. Then we're gonna bear away a bit and get a bit more civilized. Uh, the swell is pretty small at the moment. We've had a period of calm weather and the wind has just started to come back. Uh, this is the normal San Blas sailing conditions that we've come to expect. Uh, and we are waited for another period of calm. We are now just entering uh, the calm period after the really howling Christmas trade winds uh, have subsided. Uh, so we do occasionally, maybe once every 10 days, uh, once every two weeks, get these periods where the wind is super weak and uh, we're using those to uh, full advantage to get out east. We can't have our wine costing more than our diesel. Most of the time, the diesel tastes better. Special thanks in this episode go to all of our patrons for diligently following the First Mate's Diary page by page. Champagne for everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much and here's to you. 
If you enjoyed this episode, you can now buy the crew a drink directly. Just look for the thanks button below the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.